Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Becca. This is Cosplay and Books, the channel where I talk about books and then cosplay from the ones that I like the most. And today we are doing my August TBR. So if you don't know, I have a little game that we like to play here, which is the TBR jar. Basically, I roll this dice, which is a 12-sided dice, and whatever number I pick, or I roll, I have to pick that many prompts out of this jar, which is full of different prompts, and I pick books based on those prompts. And this month, I'm doing something a little different. This will probably be the norm from now on, I don't know. But I have a six-sided dice where if I don't read all of the books on my TBR from the month before, then I have to roll this dice and pick a punishment prompt or however many punishment prompts I land on. It'll make more sense when you actually see me rolling the dice anyway. So without further ado, let's get into last month's TBR and what I finished and what I didn't. I didn't finish at all. I was in a massive reading slump this month. I'm, I, there's still a week left, but I probably won't read much because I'm really busy. So yeah, we're just gonna go through and we're not gonna, we're just gonna talk about the ones that I did and didn't finish. So the first prompt that I pulled was set in a fictional world slash town. I picked Ace of Shades. I did not read that mainly because it's read and uh, for the amazing readathon, which I'm co-hosting, I want to read a lot of red books. So I didn't read that. Um, a book with a random letter, uh, the random letter was H. I did read this one, which was Hotel Magnifique. Um, that was a really good book. Book set in summer, I picked Instant Karma. Didn't read it. <laughs> Reread a favorite, I picked Belladonna. Didn't read it. Maybe I'll read this prompt, who knows, I don't know. Probably not. A book with 500 pages, I'm still hoping to get to this one, but I probably will not. But I originally picked The Book Thief, and I am also debating on doing Cress by Marissa Meyer, because um, I'm currently reading Scarlet, so if I finish that in time, and I have enough time to read Cress, which is over 500 pages, obviously, we shall see. Um, I pick, the next one was an enemies to lovers book. I picked a song of wraiths and ruin. Did not get to that book. <laughs> mm. The next one was a next book in an already started series, which I did do, which was All In by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And then book with a love triangle. I originally put, picked Ash Princess, um, but I ended up actually doing this prompt, but reading a different book, which was These Hollow Vows. So I failed miserably. So obviously we have to do a punishment roll. Okay, so here are the rolls. First, I'm starting with the 12-sided dice, which I got a five. And now on to the six-sided dice, which I also got a five. So for the, the rolls, I got five normal prompts and five punishment prompts, which is ironic because that's how many prompts there's going to be in the Amazing Readathon, which is weird. I don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, you will see a recurring theme with these books and that they are mostly all read. Okay, and here I am picking the first prompt from the jar, and it is a book by an author you love. First prompt that I pulled was a book by an author you love. I picked Foxglove by Adeline Grace. This is the second book in the Belladonna series. I love Adeline Grace's books, they're amazing. And I have this one, hopefully, <laughs> coming in August because it, it doesn't release till the 22nd, but I have it on pre-order, so I'm hoping to get it before August ends. And now I'm picking the next prompt from the jar. And it is a title that begins with R. The next prompt was a book with that with a title that starts with the letter R. I picked Roman and Jewel by Dana L. Davis. This is like a Broadway show that is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. And the main guy is playing Roman, the Romeo character, and the main female is the understudy for the Juliet character, Jewel, 
and she they, they like are practicing together and a video of them gets leaked and then people are arguing on whether she should play Jewel or the actual girl that got cast should play Jewel. So that sounds interesting and I love a good Romeo and Juliet retelling. Okay and the next prompt that we have is shaking up the jar here is a a retelling the next prompt that i pulled was a retelling i'm finally doing it i'm finally reading this book after so long of saying that i i want to read it to myself saying that i kind of want to read it but i kind of don't want to read it at the same time and everyone else telling well not everyone but a lot of other people saying that i should read it i'm reading a court of thorns and roses i am scared that i'm not gonna like this but Whatever. It is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, so it fits with the prompt. And it's also red, so that's nice. Okay, and now we are pulling the next prompt from the jar. And it is... The next book in an already started series. The next prompt that I pulled was a next book in an already started series. I swear I get this prompt every single time. I'm about to take it out because I have gotten it every single month so far. It's ridiculous. But I'm if I don't read this book this month, I swear I'm never going to read it again because I have picked this up from the library five times and I still have not read it. I have read one chapter from it, which is Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gong. I love this series. I really do. I loved these Violent Delights, but I'm so terrified of this. <laughs> Mainly because I got spoiled. Oh, the ending of it got spoiled for me. I'm not gonna say what the ending is, but the ending got spoiled for me because I read Foul Lady Fortune before I read this. Mistake on my part. Okay, and now we are pulling our last normal prompt from the prompt jar, and it is the most recent book you bought the next prompt that i pulled was a, the most recent book that you purchased i had two different options to pick between this which was to kill a kingdom or this book which is threads that bind i decided to pick this one because i just i want to read this one so bad it looks so fun and i i i don't know it just looks really cool and i'm very excited to read it so that is the book I picked. Okay, so now we are getting on to our punishment prompts. So let's go into those. Okay, and we are now picking our first book from the punishment jar. And it is any book off your physical TBR. The first punishment prompt that I got was any book off of your physical TBR. I picked Ace of Shades. This is a book about a girl who is trying to find her mother and she doesn't really know like where she is or what happened to her and she ends up teaming up with this con man and then they end up having to play this like deadly game um and yeah it just sounds interesting so I'm gonna read it <laughs> I don't know what else to say and the next punishment prompt is bum ba bum mushrooms on the cover the next prompt that i pulled is i swear the hardest prompt that i have ever pulled out of any of these which was mushrooms on the cover this doesn't sound like a hard prompt but it is there is only one book that i can find and the thing is neither of the libraries that are close to me have it the one an hour away from me does anyway I ended up picking Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. This is a book that I have been wanting to read for a really long time, but the only thing is, is it's like $23 and I don't have that kind of money. So I do want to read this, so I'm hoping either I end up somehow buying it, you know, getting the courage to actually buy it. Maybe I'll look on Pango, they might have it for cheaper. They probably do actually. I might look on Pango. We'll see. Um, either that or uh, get it from the library. I will try to do that if I can. But yes, 
This is, that is literally the only book I could find with mushrooms on the cover, I swear. I don't know why. Cover artist, use more mushrooms in your covers. They're cool. <laughs> Make it easier on my life. Okay, and the next punishment prompt is... Waiting, waiting. <laughs> it is clock on the cover. The next one is another thing on the cover, but this one was actually easier, and this one is on my Red Books recommendations that I talked about, which was a clock on the cover. I didn't say that. <laughs> I don't think I did. But I ended up picking Midnight Strikes. It does have a clock right there on the cover. This, it sounds like a, a Cinderella retelling, but it's not. It is like a Groundhog Day situation where this girl goes to a ball and she doesn't want to go to this ball but she ends up going and at the stroke of midnight an explosion happens and everyone dies and then the next morning she wakes up no one remembers it except her and so it's like the day of the ball so it's like the day repeats itself and i'm assuming she has to figure out how to stop the explosion from happening so yeah Sounds fun, sounds interesting, it has a clock on the cover, so yeah. Okay, the next prompt from the punishment jar is a d20 pick. Okay, so how the d20 pick roll um, works is I have a d20, I roll it, and then whatever number I get, I land on. It has to be that number on my shelf. And it doesn't matter if it's a reread, it doesn't matter if it's... I don't know. If Well, it does matter if it's the next part in a series that I haven't started yet. Because obviously I can't. And then I'll just probably read the, like, the first one. Or like, whatever one I need to read. Okay, so first we roll and we got a 14. Okay, so let's go to the shelves. Okay, here are the bookshelves. We're gonna stop, start from the top and go to wherever 14 is. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so it's a manga, that's good. That's good because 10 books, <clears throat> I can use all the mangas I can get. The next one was a D20 pick. I'm sure I explained it in the actual thing that I did, but, Basically, I roll a d20, and whatever number it is, I count on the shelves, and whichever book it lands on, I pick that book and I read it. Um, I got an easy way out on this one, though, because I got a 14, and it landed on Toilet Bound Hanako Kun, Volume 8. This is my favorite series. I love this series so much. So, And I'm pretty sure this is, like, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, this is, like, one of my favorites. Um, so I'm very excited to reread it. Okay, and the last prompt of the day is a friend pick. And the last prompt that I pulled was a friend pick. So basically I decided I was going between having a friend recommend me a book or just having like a couple of books that I want to read and sending them to a friend, which I ended up doing that. And so my friend ended up picking Girl Forgotten. I put, I don't remember how many books I put. It was like four, I wanna say. I think I put Shadow of the Fox, Where Dreams Descend, Girl Forgotten, and something else. I wanna say Midnight Strikes, but I could be wrong about that. I, I might be wrong about that. Could have been something else, I don't remember. But, this is what was chosen and it is a very small book I think it's like under 300 pages yeah it's like 200 something pages so I don't actually um yeah this book is about about a girl who starts a true crime podcast and she ends up having to solve this crime that happens like a murder that happens and it gives me a good girl's guide to murder vibes so it it sounds interesting and I want to read it and it, again it is a very quick read which is not something that I'm used to because I typically read fantasy which are like 400 plus pages usually 
so I should be able to breeze through this in like a day or two. So yeah. Well, that is all of my August TBR. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what your August TBR is, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!